now parts of a flowering plant okay we are now we are seeing so many varieties of plants in our surrounding do they produce all or they uh, producing uh, the flowers no majority are producing flowers fruits there is seeds and all but some plants are not producing any flowers so we can classify the plants into two group non flowering plants they are not producing any flowers in the lifetime the second group of plants are called the flowering plants they produce flowers according to the season according to their uh, period they are producing flowers now we are going to take only flowering plants they are considered as the advanced group of plants okay advanced group so we are going to take that advanced group flowering plants the flowering plants are also called the angiosperms okay angiosperms angiosperms are flowering plants okay now the another one name also we are giving or magnoliophytes okay magnoliophytes these are the other terms we are using for flowering plants okay the flowering plant i already told you the parts of the plant below the soil is called root system the parts of the plant which are present above the soil is a called a shoot system so two major systems are there for example if you take our body we have 10 systems digestive system respiratory system circulatory system nervous system excretory system like that 10 systems we have but plants are having advanced plants are having only two system root system and shoot system so in that first system we are going to say that is root system now characteristic features of roots root system is having roots okay whether it is a less number of roots or more number of roots the roots are there in the root system the roots are buried into the soil they are useful for holding the plant with the soil and also absorbing water minerals everything so that is roots now we have to see the external features that is only characteristic features of roots root is a descending portion of the plant axis what is the meaning of descending portion portion means part of the plant descending means the part which is growing downwards that is called a descending stem is growing upwards but the roots are always growing downwards so root is a descending portion of the plant axis generally non green roots are not green in color generally but rarely some roots are there they are green in color but generally the roots are non green in color as it lacks chlorophyll in the root chlorophyll will not be present so it will not be green in color it is non green does not possess nodes no nodes are there no inter nodes no buds will be present rarely some occasional exceptions will be there but generally everything we are talking about general generally the root does not possess nodes inter nodes and buds that is exception in sweet potato now see that exception some exceptions will be there and the members of the rutaceae one family one family means very big group of plants that is in the rutaceae the roots bear buds which help in vegetative propagation what is the meaning of vegetative I already told you root stem leaf together we can call as vegetative parts propagation propagation means reproduction that means the buds which are present in the roots are useful for reproduction for that some exception some plants are having that it bears the root bears root eyes the root eyes are microscopic they are single cell enormous number of root eyes will be there so with the help of microscope we can observe them we cannot see just just like directly so the root bears root eyes to absorb water and minerals from the soil only the root eyes are absorbing water how much is needed it will absorb how much amount of minerals are needed that will be absorbed so the root eyes are important for absorption of water and minerals it is positively geotropic what is the meaning of positively geotropic geotropic means growing towards soil positively geotropic means positively means growing towards geotropic soil so the root is growing towards the soil and negatively phototropic photo means sunlight now the root doesn't want sunlight so it is growing growing away from sunlight inside the soil sunlight will not be there sunlight will be on the surface but it cannot penetrate and go deeper into the soil so it is negatively phototropic that means growing towards the soil growing away from the sunlight so these are all general characters now we are going to study about the regions of a root now we are taking uh, main plant what is present available there 
just we are when the soil is wet we are plucking the root and one root main root alone we are taking one small portion what are the various regions are present what are the various zones are present we have to see that is called regions of a root now this is the upper part of the root from here only the stem is coming up now this is the soil level here stem is coming up then branches leaves and all there above the soil now this is a part of the root which is present below the soil now this is the tip of the root the down part the bottom part tip of the root so the tip of the root there is a protective covering which is a thick covering here you can see that this region is called a root cap the region is called a root cap it is very very rough it is a hardy nature it is very small it is like a cap like structure it is covering the tip of the root okay so this is called the cap like structure at the tip of the root so that we are calling it as root cap why the root cap is present we have to see now the root has to grow into the soil soil is a hard soil is a rough now the root has to penetrate into the rough soil at the time the tip of the root may be damaged the tip of the root may be damaged the uh, rough surface the rough particles of the soil may damage the original tip of the root so that the cap is present so the cap is protecting the soft region of the tip of the root so it is a important the root cap is very important to protect the soft root tip then the next region is called a region of cell division now this is the region you can see that one line is there but in the root and all you can't find any line now this is the region where the stem will be very very soft in nature cells are there inside enormous number of cells but the cells are growing and multiplying by mitosis that is called a cell division cell division means suppose 100 cells are there imagine like this but it will be more thousands and thousands will be there imagine that 100 cells 100 cells will multiply into 200 double so that is called doubling that is called a cell division after some time the 200 will become 400 like that the cells are keep on multiplying that is called region of cell division then above the region of cell division that is a we are also calling it as meristem we are also calling this region as meristem above the meristem there is a wide region long region is there this is the region of cell elongation for example here in this region 100 cells are there 100 becomes 200 200 becomes 400 what will happen out of 400 100 cells will remain in the same region region of cell division the remaining 300 cells will come up and they elongate the cells are becoming longer and longer original length will be less but now they are growing very very longer so the root is growing longer and longer that is called region of cell elongation now above the region of cell elongation if you take enormous number of microscopic hair like structures will be there for diagram we have drawn but originally you cannot see very very difficult to see now they are microscopic long outgrowths they are hair like outgrowths now this is a region where the hair root as are present you know like that that is a region of cell maturation that means the cells are becoming maximum in size that is called a cell maturation and the hair like structures what are present are called a root as enormous number of root as will be present so we can call this as region of cell maturation and the region of root air we can say because that region only root as will be present okay now we are going to speak about the types of root system okay now in the total number of plants which are present in our surrounding there are two types of our plants monocot plants and dicot plants we will study what is the meaning of monocot and dicot later now the dicot plants if you take i'll give a simple example for that some plants they are growing well they are producing fruits flowers then the flowers develop into fruits inside the fruit seeds are there now imagine that we are taking the seeds out you are allowing it to dry when you gently press it or when you break it what will happen or when you soak it in water and uh, press it what will happen inside the seed some content will be there which will divide into two equal half for example groundnut seed of groundnut peanut we are telling just gently you press it it will be broken into two equal sizes that is each one is called one cotyledon so two cotyledons are there in the seed so the plants which produce such a seeds are called dicotyledonous plants shortly we can call as a dicot plants the dicot plants are having taproot system we will describe about what is a taproot system so all dicot plants are having taproot system there are certain plants which are producing grains or seeds but the seeds are having only one cotyledon even if you press it soak it in water make it to soft 
and gently if you press it it will never break into two equal halves such plants are called monocot plants mono means single cot means cotyledon single cotyledon in the seed so such plants are called monocot plants monocot plants are having fibrous root system okay what is the nature of fibrous root system i'll tell you now first we will come to dicot plant now for monocot plant some example we can give rice rice if you soak it in water and if you gently press it it will become powder like or broken into small small pieces it will never divide into two equal divisions so it is having single cotyledon monocot seed so paddy maize even maize also it will never divide into two equal halves so they are called monocot plants they are having fibrous root system first i will take about the tap root system now here this is the soil level above main stem is there now here this is the main root is growing down which is growing continuously down further and further it is very thick now a lot of branches will be coming from that so this main root is called a primary root the main root which is growing deeper and deeper which is at the center of the system is called a primary root it is also called a tap root don't say system tap root this is called a primary root or tap root from the primary root enormous number of branches are arising enormous number of branches okay now the branches which are directly arising from the primary root are called secondary roots they are called a secondary for example this is one secondary root this is one secondary like that many secondary roots will be there so secondary roots are many number primary root is always only one but the secondary roots many number they are arising from primary now you take this is one secondary root but from the secondary root one small branch is arising so this is not touching the primary it is arising from the secondary so this small branch which is arising from the secondary is called a tertiary root so if the root system is having one primary root lot of secondary roots and fine branches called a tertiary roots then the whole system of the root we can call it as tap root system we are calling it as what tap root system then we are coming to fibrous root system now this is the soil level now the main stem is present here with the leaves and all the things will be but in this root if you take there is no primary root you see that any main root is present like this nothing a number of thin roots enormous number it may be uh, 50 60 70 100 200 like that enormous number of thin thread like roots are arising from the base of the main stem from the base of the main stem so if all the roots thin roots are arising from the base of the main stem the whole roots we can call it as fibrous <coughs> root system okay we can call it as fibrous root system so these are the now normally dicot plants are having primary root sorry tap root system monocot plants are having fibrous root system it is very clear differentiation between monocot plants and dicot plants now whether it is a tap root system or fibrous root system they perform some common functions they perform some common functions what are the common functions of the root we have to see now functions of roots now primary function primary function means that is the main purpose of the uh, development of root main functions we can call primary functions the primary functions the first function will be the roots absorb water and minerals from the soil a plant needs water and minerals every day the root system is absorbing water and minerals from the soil and is supplying the water and minerals to the main stem branches leaves flowers fruits everywhere so the plant is living very well that is the first function roots help to anchor the plant firmly firmly means very strongly anchor means attachment fixing they help to attach or anchor the plant firmly in the soil for example now a big tree a tall tree is a standing on the soil now it is standing vertically even if the wind is blowing little faster it is moving this way and that way but it will never fall down the reason is the roots are firmly fixing fixed with the soil so for fixation and absorption of water and minerals the roots are very important these are the two major functions primary functions secondary functions that means additional functions they may do the function they may not do the function it may be important may not be important so there is called a secondary functions but some additional functions are also they are doing in some plants roots perform additional functions not in all the plants 
in some plants roots perform additional functions like storage the roots are storing food material normally the fruits are storing the food material seeds are storing food material but in some plants roots are storing food material example carrot beetroot radish they are roots but they are storing lot of food so that become very bulgy now they are becoming vegetable for us so the roots perform additional functions like story support now you are the supporting roots are there now we have, you might have seen the banyan tree when it is growing thick trunk will be there very heavy branches will be there but from the branches some thin thread like roots will be hanging they are growing downwards reaching the soil holding the soil in the when the tree is becoming very old the roots which are developing from the branches they are bearing the branches very well okay trunk may be weak but at the time the roots are giving additional support to the tree so the tree is a living for long period of time climbing even in the climbing plants we have studied climbers just before we have studied plants are classified into herbs shrubs climbers so in the climbers some special roots are growing they are useful for climbing on the support okay etc in some plants that in some plants only i added here in some plants root perform okay this is not in all plants some plants are performing this additional function locations of roots okay root over primary root secondary root tertiary root uh, root has everything for tap root system fibrous root system fibrous roots are there but modifications of roots you have to see modification what is the meaning of modification change in the structure and form now the roots will not be normal roots like they are changing the shape for example a normal root which is thin and long okay but take the beetroot beetroot is very stout it is not giving appearance like a normal root at all it is called the modified root modification means change in shape and size not only size shape and size structure that is called a modification change in the shape size and structure of root why they have to change the shape why they have to change the size and structure to do additional functions just before we have studied additional function like support additional function like storage climbing etc for that they have to change the shape size and structure okay root modifications this is outline classification what we have tap root modification that means the modifications are seen in tap root system the roots are modified in adventitious root system that is also nothing but fibrous root system fibrous root system is also called the adventitious roots modification okay we'll take tap root modification three types are there sorry two types storage breathing root okay storage and breathing root storage means the roots are storing food material like conical fusiform napiform the examples we are going to study breathing root actually root is under the soil in some plants as i told already the marshy plants the plants which are living in marshy land from the roots some roots are growing upward they are coming above the soil above the water level they are called breathing roots or respiratory roots what they do they have lot of holes through which air can go to the root that is called a breathing just like a how through our nose air is going inside and coming out you know like that through the openings through the pores through the holes the air is going to the root and the air is coming out that is called a breathing root now these two are for tap root modification adventitious root modification that means the fibrous root modification storage <laughs> storing the food material in the tuberous root fasciculated root nodulous root nodulose or nodulus monoliform roots and annulated roots these are the five types of modifications for storing all these forms are storing lot of food material mechanical support additional support the main stem is getting additional support that is called prop root that only the banyan trees branches are producing roots you know they are generally called a prop root stilt root now if you see this a uh, sugar cane now the sugar cane is uh, having very thin stem growing tall maybe 5 6 7 or 8 feet height it is having bottom fibrous root system but if you take some nodes up to maybe 3 or 4 nodes some roots will be growing they are also holding the soil they are called stilt root climbing roots the weak stemmed plants are having climbing roots buttresses buttress roots buttresses generally we can say or buttress root now they are flattened roots which are useful for attachment either attaching with the wall or with any other support buttress roots now these are the mechanical support additional support 
then vital functions important functions vital means very important now they are modified to do some important functions first one is epiphytic root now what is the meaning of epiphytic root we will study later some plants are growing on other plants they are not having any contact with soil then how they get water we have to see now it is for the epiphytic roots are present foliar roots in some roots the leaves are sorry the roots are flattened the roots are flattened that is called a foliar next a sucking root some roots are sucking the nutrients from the other plants that is called a sucking root photosynthetic roots rarely in some plants the roots are green in color they have chlorophyll and they are preparing the food by photosynthesis normally leaves are doing that function in all the plants leaves are doing but here the roots are modified to do the photosynthesis now these are this is the outline classification of taproot modification and adventitious root modification i already told you adventitious roots means fibrous root system okay, now we will take taproot modification for storage now these three modifications for storage now this is the soil level okay now this is a fully soil here now the aerial part of the stem is that stem uh, leaves are all there present now the primary root is that now this is a primary root actually center thick root is that primary and the secondary roots are coming from tertiary roots are also there but the primary root when the plant is preparing lot of food the leaves are preparing lot of food the leaves are not storing the food material the leaves are sending the food to the primary root so the primary root is a receiving more and more food so the primary root is a becoming stouter and stouter slowly it is becoming thicker finally it is a having a cone shaped appearance see that cone shape what is the cone you might have studied one end is broader one end is pointed now see this end is a broader and this end is pointed so that the shape is conical shape the modification is conical shaped modification example carrot now this is the diagram for carrot then we are coming to the same way now this is a soil surface leaves are present above the leaves are preparing enormous amount of food material and that food is given to primary root okay primary root at the beginning it is very thin but when the food is coming more and more the primary root is becoming stouter and stouter now the secondary roots will be there tertiary roots will also be there now see the shape of the modification change in the shape primary root is modified it is fusiform what is the meaning of fusiform upper end is slightly narrower lower end is also narrower or pointed now this is if upper end is pointed lower end is pointed middle portion is gradually thicker or broader or no oh, very stout then it is called a fusy form boat shape okay how the boat is a front it is pointed back side also pointed middle portion is a slightly wider like that that is called a fusy form it is also called a spindle shape the shape is also called a spindle shape example for this is radish <coughs> it is also story lot of food both are vegetables now we are coming to nappy form in the name itself nappy nappy means abnormally stouter that is called a nappy it is a latin term okay in the nappy form this is a uh, leaves here lot of leaves are there they prepare the food primary root is there in the center <coughs> secondary roots are there tertiary roots <coughs> when the food is uh, coming down the upper part of the primary root the le full length is not enlarging the upper part of the primary root approximately 50 60% region of the primary root is a storing food so it is becoming more and more bulgy see that upper part is completely bulgy and the lower part if you take this part the primary root is normal so if one part that is upper part of the primary root alone is a storing food and if the root is becoming abnormally thicker then it is called a nappy form abnormally stouter nappy form example beetroot now all the three are vegetables because they are storing lot of food material those food materials nutrients which are kept in that are very good for our health now we are coming to breathing root the second one in the classification we have studied breathing root now this is the tree it is a big tree it is called avicennia the name of the plant is called avicennia example now these plants are growing in the marshy land the best place where we can see lot of uh, marshy trees like this enormous number several thousands will be in uh, very close by to ramnad that is chidambaram there in the shisho region we can find this now it is a tourism spot is there that is there you can see this avishaniya tree is a big forest like okay mangrove forest okay even here also one place is there uh, from ramnad about a 
15 20 kilometers uh, karangadu one place is there even there also lot of uh, uh, trees are there avicennia trees now this is the main tree main stem now the water is a present up to this level now here up to this level water will be present now from the root the roots are present immersed in water below that uh, mud will be there below that roots will be present so the lot of branches will be there primary root secondary root everything from that some roots are growing upward okay some roots are growing upward they are emerging from the water surface whatever the water level may be above the water level maybe about six or seven or eight inches height they will be projecting upward now this is one root which is projecting upward now this a name that is it is enlarged here now this is the underground stem a root in the root one branch is coming up like this now this a root is called a respiratory root the branch is called what respiratory root the respiratory root is also called a nematoph nematodes okay what is the name of it nematodes in that lot of holes are there you can see the holes by naked eye now through the holes only air is going inside so the cells of the root are getting oxygen then carbon dioxide is coming out okay so it is for breathing taking oxygen actually air is going inside and coming out but the cells are absorbing oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide now that is about uh, respiratory root so nematophores p o r e s nematophores pores pores means holes are there on the outer side 